Welcome to Yankee Bravo Aviation. I am Grayson. And this is Bree. We are a young family that is passionate about aviation and adventure. We want to share our experience and show people that it is possible to work hard and enjoy life, and most importantly, give back. After a year of ownership of our beloved Mooney M20C, we have had some amazing experiences and invite you to join us for our future adventures. Our goal is to inspire other couples, young adults, and families to chase their dreams and also give back to the aviation community as it's given us so many great experiences in such a short amount of time. Hey, and thank you for uh, joining Bree and I on our day date down to first flight in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Uh, for anybody that's a non-pilot, that is where the Wright brothers first took flight, and they have a nice monument and park surrounding that area. Uh, it's about a 50-minute flight from Richmond, where we're based out of. So we were able to drop the kids off at school and then uh, head on down, have a full day, and then uh, be, actually beat the bus back home, which is great. Uh, we do want to apologize. The audio in this video is not exactly how we wanted it to be, but um, we will get it corrected for all the future videos. So uh, please stick around till the end of the video. We are going to announce our first giveaway. Uh, we're really excited about that. And like I said, we are really mu very much looking forward to giving back to the uh, aviation community. And we're about 42 miles out. I've got my autopilot free kicked in. She's doing awesome, as always. I try. Yeah, I think that makes this a huge difference for us, though, is that you enjoy it as much as uh, as much as I do. So. Oh yeah. Your uh, your your FOMO kicks in any time I'm flying without you. I'll come home and she's me. I wanted to go. Oh yeah, I love it. Not like I could take it out and fly myself, so. Well, if you keep on going with your uh, pilot's license, you can. I mean, I will eventually. The presentatorious question, but anytime we fly into an airport, is uh, what kind of courtesy car do they have? And it took about six months for her to realize that not every airport has a courtesy car. Yeah, he would get super annoyed. But, you know, he was the one who told me about the courtesy car, so in my mind, I'm like, oh, there's a courtesy car. We don't have to Uber. But apparently, I was wrong. Roman one on the departure at our contact. That's the last time in Roman one on the and And then I also keep forgetting that you can't have a courtesy car overnight. Yeah, that's... Which is a bummer. <laughs> that would be called a rental car. <laughs> So, Mary and I were just talking previously, um, and then one of the GoPros died, but we are going to be doing some upgrades to the, to the plane. Um, initially, we were just going to buy a new airplane that had the things in it that we wanted, but we decided, as part of this journey, um, and, and to really reach our goal of showing the people what it's really like on an airplane. 163 Romeo 3800 climbing 7000 like to maintain and upgrade and kind of go through the journey with us. 2904, 6 Um we just got stepped on a lot. So long story short, we've decided to never get rid of Moody uh, of 3-3 uniform and we're gonna one way or another this always this plane's always gonna be a part of our life. Some of the avionics upgrades that we're toying with right now is doing a uh, suite of GI 275s. That's all him. Roman 13 of Santa Barbara, over to contact us and have prime and team 11000. Lost GPS and then eventually a GFC 500. Um, it's going to be one of those things, it's not going to be right away, uh, but, it, but we want y'all to kind of experience this with us over time. And uh, I mean, well, we, have, we have the price and we have everything ready to go. Um, but it's just going to take some time for us to really save up. It is it is a big expenditure, so. Plus, we won't have the plane for a while. And that's so, the that's, downside. Yeah. You know how we cure that? 
buy another one. We would buy a tail dragger and we could fly that in the summer. So why are you so obsessed with speed yet you want a tail dragger? Because tail draggers are great for like going off, evening flights, kind of putzing around the area. You know, doing so we don't need a fast one, because we have a tail dragger, and this is fast compared to a tail dragger. Yeah, so we would keep both. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So you don't want a fast one. I'm just saying, for right now, we're where we are in our life. A tail dragger, <laughs> and, and, and this would be amazing. Um, you know, could you imagine just the little two-seater side-by-side in the sunset? Well, yeah, I mean, how going. open it is. Yeah. Yeah, do you, I mean, like, do they have AC? No, yeah, they're not open cockpit. We can fly 5,500 feet and you have your AC built in. That's true. Hang your arm out the window. <laughs> All today. I would like that. Not only that, tail draggers are, make you a wonderful pilot. I mean, they are. How come? Um, it's a much more stick and rudder. Uh, the, it, the handling uh, characteristics of them are much more intense than what, the, what this is. So, it, all in all, it's a good experience. And you can get your license in it. You need a separate license? No, you can get your private in a tail dragger if you want to. Because mine? Okay. It's not a license, it's an endorsement. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, that's the bummer with this plane though. I can't do my lessons in this plane because of um insurance. Well, insurance. Also, um, I don't think I could do what I I mean, I can try it, but you know, I think I might need to use two hands. Felix one two Roger. We are at the Outer Banks. It is absolutely beautiful. Roman 13 FR cancellation received. Felix 121 one clear of the flight squad 0110. Yeah, there's a bunch of them around here. Landing in the one close to um, that we landed in the last time we went to the Outer Banks. What was it called? Yeah. Oh. I mean, we're close by. Yeah. That was. Needed to just that way. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I was going to say, flying into that airport was really pretty. Roma 1 3, go back to the 4657 code, please. Roman one one contact transfer approach one two. Alrighty, we're gonna start a VFR descent. All right. Two zero three, you guys want to start following? You're just letting it flow. You're going up and down. So pull back to seventeen point five. Cherry Point approach, uh, 6733 uniform, uh, we're going to start a VFR descent into first flight. Katie. And Cherry Point approach, uh, 6733 uniform, has first flight in sight, uh, wish to cancel flight bomb at this time. 233 uniform, Roger. Radar service terminated, squad 1, turn VFR, for the shade approved, have a good one. Squad VFR, for the shade approved, thank you, have a good one, talk to you in a little bit. The approach into uh, Kitty Hawk is absolutely amazing. Uh, you get a great view of the beach. Uh, there are a lot of, there were a lot of thermals this day, uh, and it really kicked in right at 500 feet, and especially right when we got over the numbers on the runway. So I'm not gonna lie, not my best landing ever, but uh, it was a good opportunity for Bree to give me a little bit of slack. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Usually with our landings, you know, pat him on the leg, say good landing. And this one, after we landed, I just looked at him and I was like, huh, a little bumpy, right? <laughs> I think her exact words were, what happened there? But anyways, the plane is fine. We landed fine. It wasn't as bad as it looks in the video. Um, but hey, you know, everything can't be perfect and I'll never claim to be a perfect pilot. But we want to show you the good and the bad.
So we made it, our first vlog at the Wright Brothers Memorial, where first flight took place. So we're super excited about this adventure. Woohoo! What do you think? I don't know, I like it. It's super hot, <laughs> but I like it and I really just want to go to the beach. So. <laughs> well, we have the bathing suits if you want to go. Oh yeah, that's true. So. Yeah, we're just Alrighty, gonna walk around we'll, a bit more. We'll check in with y'all later. everybody thank you for sticking around for our first video we know it wasn't perfect but man did we have fun making it uh, we're going to continue to make videos every week we hope that you like and subscribe to follow along what we're going to be doing for our giveaway is once we hit a thousand subscribers we're going to be giving away five hundred dollars to somebody in the aviation community and our goal is to find somebody where it's going to make a difference. Uh, we know 500 isn't a lot, but we're gonna continue to strive so we can do more and more. And uh, we just hope that you'll join us on this uh, journey. Anyways, until next time, guys, thank you. We love you and uh, look forward to seeing you.